Spurgeon here with Revzilla to welcome you to how to size and buy motorcycle pants. Now in this video, we're gonna walk you through the different types of motorcycle pants that are available and explain to you how to find the right fit to match up with your body type and your riding style. Now there's a wide variety of motorcycle pants across all price points, and while price can dictate the material that a pants are made from and subsequently how comfortable they are, doesn't necessarily dictate how protective those are gonna be. Now, when we talk about protection with motorcycle pants, we're talking about abrasion resistance, impact protection, as well as protection from the elements. And while we'll touch on some general themes of protection throughout the video, really, if there's a specific pair of pants that you're interested in, I would recommend you checking out the detailed product pages to get all the information about each individual pair of pants that we carry. Even if you're new to motorcycling, chances are you've heard people talk about two competing types of materials, textile versus leather. And while historically there's been a debate over which is safer, really what we found is that modern day textiles tend to be as safe as leather in the event of a street crash. Now, where the differences really come into play is that after the crash, textiles usually need to be discarded and replaced, whereas leather can survive multiple crashes or it can be repaired. For the purpose of this video and for your consideration, we're gonna break down textile pants into three main options. Riding jeans, mesh pants, and a full textile pair of pants. Now when we're talking about riding jeans, really what we're looking at here is a pair of jeans that looks like your casual day-to-day -day wear, but with motorcycle protection built in. Some of the pros of riding jeans are the fact that you do get a super casual look, but you're also getting protection for low to mid-level riding that's gonna be great for around town use. Now some of the cons of riding jeans are the fact that they normally don't include waterproof or thermal liners. Impact protection isn't always going to be included nor is it always available. And you're looking at a pair of jeans that tends to run pretty hot in the summer months. So for an option to better combat hot weather riding, let's take a look at mesh pants. Now mesh pants get their name from the large mesh panels that you're gonna find that help to promote airflow and comfort in the hottest months of the year. They'll still incorporate abrasion resistance in your high impact zones, which adds to the protection. Now some of the pros of mesh pants are they do a great job of combining comfort and protection for hot weather riding. You're gonna now start to see impact armor standard the knees and also available at the hips. And you're gonna see options pop up for thermal and waterproof liners. Now some of the cons of mesh pants are the fact that they're gonna be limiting their seasonality to the hottest months of the year, and mesh can be a potential fail point in a high-speed crash. For the highest level of synthetic protection, let's take a look at full textile pants. Now textile pants work for a wide variety of motorcycle types and riding styles, and they're really your best option for tackling multi-seasonality as well as multiple weather conditions with just one pant option. Some of the pros of full textile pants is that most will be just as protective as leather in the event of a street crash. You're looking at multiple seasonality because of the liner systems available, and you're gonna have multiple options for waterproof protection with these. Now, some of the cons of full textile pants is they typically have to be replaced after a crash. They're not gonna be as breathable as a mesh alternative, and you typically can't use these at a racetrack the way you can with leather. While textiles have come a long way, nothing replaces leather for pure durability in the event of a crash. This is the reason that all the top riders still rely on leather when they're riding on the racetrack. Now, when we're looking at leather, most of leather now is designed for sport riding. You're gonna have aggressive pre-curves and hard parts for protection. While some casual options do exist, most of the leather pants that you're gonna see out there are gonna be designed to be worn in the lower half of a two-piece leather suit. Some of the pros of leather is its maximum abrasion resistance. You're also looking at perforated options for warm weather riding, and the fact that this aggressive pre-curve really aids in comfort when you are in that more aggressive full tuck riding position. Some of the cons of leather, however, are even with perforation, leather is gonna be extremely limited in its seasonality. There's no real ideal waterproof protection without having to wear something externally over top of leather pants. And when we're looking at these, they are gonna be limited in their application of which motorcycles they're gonna work best with. 
So once you've narrowed down the style of pants that you're looking for, it's important that we identify your preferred fit. And there's two main fits to consider, a relaxed touring fit and a more slim tapered sport race cut. Now the one outlier here will be riding jeans. And most riding jeans are gonna be available in the same cuts as your regular day-to-day -day jean options. So let's start by taking a look at a relaxed touring fit. The relaxed touring fit features a roomier, more comfortable straight leg design. Typically we see these with a textile construction and that additional room works really well for accommodating different liner systems, thermal or waterproof. These pants will typically be worn on the outside or the, uh, the exterior over top of the riding boot. Now a sport race fit, on the other hand, is gonna be more of a tapered slim fit from the waist down to the ankles. And while some textile options do exist, especially in the world of dirt bike pants, more commonly we're seeing this fit in the world of leather pants where the impact armor is designed to be worn very closely against the body. When we're looking at sport tapered fit, this is gonna be designed to be worn inside your riding boot. When trying on motorcycle pants, they should fit nice and snug throughout while still allowing for a comfortable range of motion. When you're standing up, the knee armor should sit just at or slightly below the tops of your knee. And if you're trying on dirt bike pants, make sure to do so while you're wearing your knee guards, your knee braces, thus ensuring a proper fit. Too often we simply see motorcyclists opt for pants that are too baggy for them and the armor doesn't stay in place to correctly protect them in the event of a motorcycle crash. A correctly fitted pair of pants will allow the armor to stay in place and the abrasion resistant materials to do its job to ensure that you stay safe in a crash. Once you've narrowed down the pants you're looking for by style and fit, we need to figure out what size you need to go with. And for this, you're gonna need a soft tape measure and a trusted friend. Using the soft tape measure, you're gonna have your friend get three key measurements starting with your waist. And when we say waist, we're talking about your true waist measurement, which is going to be measured around your belly button. You don't wanna go with your jean size. Your jeans will not be sized the same across all lines, and it doesn't reflect your true waist measurement. Now the second measurement you wanna get is gonna be your hips measurement. And the hips are typically gonna be the widest part of the lower half of your body. Now this is gonna be important because a lot of manufacturers account for hip armor, and this measurement helps to ensure that it sits where it's supposed to in the event of a crash. Now the final measurement you wanna get is gonna be your inseam. You wanna measure from the inside of your crotch down to your inner malleolus. And inner malleolus is just a fancy word for that inside ankle bone. Now, just keep in mind when you're taking this measurement that when you sit down on the bike, the pants tend to ride up a little bit, so an extra inch or two of length is gonna be okay. The one note to make here is that some manufacturers will take into account the thigh measurement, so going ahead and measuring your thigh wouldn't be a bad idea at this time either. Now, one of the things you wanna keep in mind is that when you're using the numbers to figure out what size to go with, Every manufacturer has their own proprietary size chart. So it's really important to use the size chart associated with the pants that you're considering. Even then, there can be some inconsistencies. Some pants will tend to run large or run small. And if we notice this trend, we'll do our best to note it on the product page, as well as in the detailed product videos. So make sure you're utilizing those assets when you're choosing the correct pair of pants for you. Now at this point in the video, you should have a pair of pants that matches your riding style, your body type, as well as your physical size. When they show up, try them on, wear them around the house, go sit on your motorcycle, make sure that you're comfortable in them. Just don't go out and ride in them until you're 100% sure they fit you correctly. Remember, a correctly fitted pair of motorcycle pants will be snug around the waist, the thighs, down to the knees, while still allowing for a comfortable range of motion. That being said, everybody has a different idea on what a comfortable range of motion really entails. If you prefer your pants to fit a bit on the looser side, that's okay. Just make sure that the armor stays in place. Now, if the pants show up, you've worn them around the house and you're comfortable with the way they fit, congratulations, you have found your newest pair of motorcycle britches. If not, keep in mind that our gear geeks are avid motorcyclists who are trained to make sure that you find the right gear for your ride. They can work with you to get you a recommendation for pants that match up with your riding style, your physical size, as well as your riding type preferences, all while keeping your uh, price and safety considerations in mind. Now, if you wanna reach out to one of our geeks, you can get them at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot an email over to cs at revzilla.com and they can set you up with a pair of pants that work for you perfectly. I wanna thank you for joining us for this look at how to size and buy motorcycle pants. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.